Hey guys, it's John. This is a quick Mars video, just teaching you guys for free to play players how to progress in this game. I wanted to make this guide because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing when I first started playing this game. They don't really tell you what to do, uh, like what's going on, like how to make, you know, how to upgrade your weapons and all that. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So the first thing you need to look at is you basically are trying to get legacy cores to increase the power of your weapons. This is again, like I said in the beginning, this is a free to play guide. This is not cash shop. If you want, you can just pay money and you can buy hell expensive ass guns that do tons of damage. But if you're free to play, you have to do this method instead to upgrade your weapons. You come over here to the armory, which is the fourth button down. You come over to equipment craft and you'll see there should be like four options of weapons you can get. You need these legacy cores in order to make the weapons again. They don't even tell you you can do this. I just hopped in here and I started clicking on shit and I was like, oh, I can make these weapons. And then, you know, you see when you click on them, you can actually make the weapons. So these are the weapons you want to be making. There's this shotgun right here, the M1100. There's this SMG, which is the MP5, the Legacy MP5. There's this Legacy AUG. And then there's the Legacy AS50, which is like a 50 cal sniper rifle. Uh, there's also your grenade, which you can upgrade with the Legacy cores. I would suggest probably you want to upgrade your MP5. The MP5 has really low recoil, whereas like the assault rifle, it does more damage than MP5, but it has a lot more recoil. It's harder to control. You miss a lot more with the assault rifle. And this game is mostly about DPS. You want high damaging weapons that are putting, you know, you're landing bullets on the target because when you get to the higher difficulties, monsters have a lot of fucking health. Um, so you mostly want DPS. Uh, so try out all four guns. If, when you make these guns, watch, we'll just make one right now. When you make the first one, it costs 10 legacy cores. It says it's available. Come over here to warehouse and you can click on your slots here and you can equip it. So see, it's right here, the M1100. So um, you can make them, like I said, 10 legacy cores. Try them out. See which one you like the best. Don't upgrade them to level two yet, uh, because if you don't like the gun at level one, you're not going to like it when it has more damage. Um, and if you don't like it, see, there's this button right here. You can click on it and you can it'll basically just salvage the item and you will get your legacy cores back. So you can just delete it. Bam, see, look at, I got my 10 cores back. You can only do that at level one for these four weapons. Uh, if you get it to level two, you cannot salvage it anymore. So that's why I'm saying you should craft all these, craft the shotgun, MP5, the assault rifle, the sniper rifle. Uh, don't do it with the grenade because you can't salvage the grenade. But craft all four of those weapons, try them out, see which one you like the best. Uh, I'm just telling you, like I said, I think the MP5 is the best because it has pretty much no recoil and it's just like a buzz gun, a laser gun. Another thing I forgot to mention, once you actually do get the legacy cores that you need to upgrade the weapon, you just come over here to the craft equipment screen, click on the weapon you want to upgrade, and then you just click the button that says upgrade and then I'll level it to the new level. Okay. And then just actually talking about the actual missions, what missions to do, like in order to get the legacy cores. So the first thing you want to be doing is obviously get your login bonus. This up here in the top left corner, this little calendar icon, Every day you will get like two legacy cores, I think it is. So make sure you're getting your login bonus. Also from the battle pass, which is this gold key icon. They do give you some legacy cores, I believe, as you level up, even on the free to play one, unless you pay for the money for the real one. Um, so that's another way. Uh, first things first, the number one thing you want to do these first missions. Well, you only have to do this first mission in order to play the game, but you should do these other two side missions. They're fucking garbage and terrible voice acting and all that but you should still do them because they give you five legacy cords each. Um, and that's really fucking good. You're pretty much never can get five legacy cords. Every time you do these dailies, you only get one usually. Um, so yeah, you want to come over here to daily mission. I think even on these normal missions. Yeah. Okay. Even on these normal missions, the main one, sometimes it will give you legacy cords. So make sure on these normal missions, you're doing your main missions, the side missions. They don't usually give you shit, just like weapon cores. And they're usually garbage. Um, but make sure you are doing these main missions because like I said, look, every so often they will give you legacy cores. Um, so make sure you do these main missions and you will get these main missions pretty much every time you level up. You will get another main mission. So do those. And then for your daily, the major one that you want to be looking at is this one right here. PVP for glory. You get one legacy core. You only need to kill 20 enemies on a map. So you can just come over here to matchmaking, go to quick game, make sure it's set to PVP. You can start a match. It will basically do a matchmaking for one minute. It will queue you up with other players. If no one's on, it'll just queue you up into a bot match and you only need to kill 20 bots. And usually most PVP matches, they're over in like six minutes. So it's really quick. Six minutes, you get your legacy core, you're done. And then the other one 
is over here on time limit mission every day you can do this one right here pve for honor daily another legacy core you need to get 100 kills in pve so all the best thing to do is you can go to any map you want to i've found so far i've been having luck on mass biochemical crisis right here on this game mode and then come over to land of the dead on this map make sure you put it on easy so the enemies die really quick on this map you can pretty much get your 100 kills like it takes me like four or five minutes I got to do more research. I got to find maybe better maps, but so far this is the fastest one that I found. You just get your 100 kills and you can literally just quit the match. You don't even have to finish it unless you want the XP then, you know, go for it. Um, but yeah, that's so far like the quickest way to get those 100 kills. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how it's going to be in the beginning, doing your PvP daily and then doing those 100 kills in PvE. If you want, just choose a PvP PvE map and just get your 100 kills, you know, complete the map, whatever. This is just I'm making this video just to be super fast that you just, you know, get your 100 kills and you can just log off. Maybe you don't have a lot of time to play. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. As you level up, you will get new dailies that give you legacy cores. Or like I said, if you get the battle pass. Oh, also one last thing. I totally almost forgot to talk about it. If you come over here to the store, come to the credit store, which is like the free to play currency, this Q gold, I think it's called. Yeah, you can come over here. And you can actually buy three legacy cores every day for 300. So that's a total of 900 Q gold that you can spend. So that's another thing you should be doing that. You should be spending your Q gold on buying legacy cores early on, especially if you're free to play. Uh, you can also get like, you know, skins and all that stuff. But that's really the best thing. You should be buying legacy cores with your Q gold. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is how to get uh, legacy cores as free to play. And uh, yeah, hopefully helped you out and gets you stronger weapons. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.